Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwann, and in this video, I'd like to share the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. The distinction actually comes from Dr. Carol Dweck's research that she detailed in her best-selling book called Mindset. High achievers develop a growth mindset, and salespeople with a growth mindset believe that they can expand their intelligence by learning more, by exposing their minds to new ideas, by learning new skills, by learning more about their customers so they can deliver more valuable solutions. People with a growth mindset don't see failure as evidence that they have reached their ceiling, but they believe that failure is an invitation to learn and to grow. People with a fixed mindset believe that their basic abilities and intelligence are fixed traits. Most of those beliefs are formed in early childhood. It is fascinating to learn that many adults run their present day lives based on the beliefs that they were formed by their inner child. The lesson is that the longer you view the world through the prism of the beliefs you created as a child, the longer you will suffer from two handicaps. One, you will be repeating the past and you will hold yourself back from growing and turning into the best version of yourself. Dr. Carol Dweck says in the book, if parents want to give their children a gift, the best thing they can do is to teach their children to love challenges, to be intrigued by mistakes, enjoy effort, and keep on learning. In that way, the children don't have to be slaves of praise. They will have a lifelong way to build and repair their own confidence. Here's a quick look at a video clip from Judy Tsai, a regional sales director for a financial services company in Hong Kong. Take a look. I see life as a journey, so I like to challenge myself. I like to take risks. I think I'm very not afraid of falling down. And every time I fall down, I will walk, uh, climb up stronger. And if client says no to me, I will make sure that um, it's not an, it's a now no, but not a future no, and I will make work in the direction to get a yes. The key to remember is that Judy's behavior is driven by her belief that she consciously created. She created a growth mindset. Think about the beliefs you created as a child. If you believe that failure is proof of your limitations, then you constructed a fixed mindset and you can change that. If you believe that failures are an opportunity to learn and to grow, you've adopted a growth mindset. I'd like to share a quick story about Bill McDermott, who started selling as a salesman for Xerox, selling copy machines. Today, he's the CEO of SAP, a company with a market value of 125 billion. When Bill was six years old, his house burned down. And as he was standing outside with his father and his mother and his brother, his mom said, kids, always remember that's what's standing outside this house is far more important than what's inside the house. Bill created a growth mindset. When he met with tough adversity, he lost one of his eyes in a freak accident about two years ago. He continued to believe in his ability to grow. He actually said, the loss of my eye created greater inner vision. I was just in a real bad situation and alone. And I knew that it was a life-threatening situation. Then I started to think and my will had a different purpose for my life and said, you know, think about your family, think about your friends, think about the 87,000 women and men that you're blessed enough to lead and that are truly my family too. And I just got to the point where I said, you know, I got to find a way. And uh, I found a way to get up, to somehow get out and get on with it. And basically crawled a hundred, maybe 150 feet to the street in hopes that somebody would see me or hear me. Somebody did. And that's the most important thing, connecting with yourself at a deep emotional level and also with other people. The good news is that you can unlearn self-limiting beliefs and shift your mindset from fixed to growth. You can change and officially declare that you will no longer endorse the beliefs in your limitations. The fact that you believed in Santa Claus for six or seven years of your life 
is evidence that you can change your beliefs. And once you turn into an adult, it is your responsibility to shape and enhance your beliefs and continually create a better version of you. Being a grown-up means that you are in charge of your growth mindset. Another way to think about the responsibility of growing your mindset is to remind yourself that you are the writer, the producer, and director of your movie called My Life. You can rewrite the script. You can change your beliefs. You can change your behaviors. And you can produce results that are in line with your true potential. You can create a growth mindset at any age. Here's the story of Lou Hollander, who is 85 years old, who has uh, run Ironman races for the past 20 years. He has created a growth mindset. In this video clip, he talks about his beliefs about aging. Take a look. I sure as hell want to break the 120 barrier because I, I want to be one of those few statistics out there. So uh, yeah, 120, 130, uh, that, that, that's my goal. But I, I think I'm, I'm on a good course, so, yeah. 120. Lou's optimistic mindset reminds me of another researcher. Dr. Becca Levy at Yale University found that people with a positive belief about aging live on average seven and a half years longer. One more reason for you to examine and rewrite your beliefs about yourself. It's a good idea to create a life plan for your lifespan. Please download your workbook and complete the exercises that we designed to challenge your thinking. Please be sure to complete each exercise in this section now. It will take you only about 10 to 15 minutes. You find more links to resources on that topic in your workbook, but also on our website, mindsetscience.com.